Hi, I'm Jason. Welcome to Upper Education. Today we're going to be looking at the science of sourdough. Hi Jason, my name's Nick and I'm a dietitian. I basically help to support people in their healthy eating and I can't wait to see what we're going to be making today. Okay Nicola, so we're going to be looking at uh, making a, a Middle Eastern inspired plant-based sandwich. Running through the ingredients, starting off with the bread which is the base. So we have Jason's sourdough grains and seeds, followed by a uh, hummus. We have some zook, which has got some herbs, and it's got some coriander seeds and some chili in there. We've got some uh, sweet and sour sticky onions, which has got some molasses and some sumac. We've got some pomegranates. We've got some butternut squash and red peppers going in the oven in a minute. And then it's going to be topped off with a really, really nice green salad. OK, so we're going to take the, uh, the grains and seed uh, sourdough. It's a really, really nice spread to use as a, as a base. It takes over 24 hours to make. It's got no yeast in there. Really, really, really nice flavour with the sprouted grains. So, OK, so we're going to uh, take the hummus, put that uh, nice spread onto the, uh, the top slice. Amazing. So hummus is a great source of plant-based protein. And we've also got some sesame seeds, some garlic and lemon in there. And hummus is actually low GI, so this bread's got a low glycemic index as well, and that means that basically the energy, the carbohydrates are released slowly. The thing that you mentioned there about low GI, that's really important to me as a family because my son's actually type 1 diabetic, so controlling blood sugars is, is really important on our day-to-day our -day living, uh, and it's amazing all the different types of foods that you can eat and the effect that it has on your blood sugars. What's your take on all that type of stuff? Not only for type 1 diabetics, but, but a low GI diet is great for type 2 diabetes, pre-diabetes yeah. and for the general population as well. Get the Zook now, give that a mix, amazing flavour. Um, just going to drop that onto the uh, hummus, just sparingly. Uh -huh. Adding so, more plant-based points, and I've yeah. actually never heard of Zook before. Can yeah, I smell have a smell, it? yeah, it's amazing flavour. Oh, yeah, it smells amazing. amazing. Smell. From that then we're going to take sweet and sour onions. Uh, similar again, we're just going to uh, layer them on top of the, uh, on the sandwich. And really interesting, the more colours the better, and the purple means that there's more antioxidants, which is fantastic. Yeah, people talk about foods, rainbow, colours, it's really, really important for, for a healthy diet. Not only does it look good, it's really, really healthy and it's really important to try and get as many colours into your food as possible. So. Yeah, definitely. One of my mottos is eat the rainbow. So lots of different colours, that means you're feeding your body lots of different nutrients, lots of plant-based compounds. Then we take the, uh, the butternut squash, uh, red peppers, so just put a few of them on top of the sandwich. Uh -huh. And fun fact, so red peppers have actually got way more vitamin C than green peppers. Wow, I never knew that. Take the red peppers, lay them across the, uh, the sandwich. Fabulous. From that, then we uh, take the pomegranates, which I don't know how many people use pomegranates in food, but there's quite a few times where actually topping it onto cereals and putting it into sandwiches, it just really adds another colour and it's a really intense flavour. It's a great source of natural sweetness, so if people are trying to lower the amount of added sugar in the diet, and yeah. great source of vitamin C and also folate as well. And it looks good as well, so well, we eat does. with our eyes, yeah. so hopefully it'll be more satisfying for us to eat. As we're going along now, it's looking more and more tasty. And then finally, we've got a basically a herb salad with some uh, black olives in there as well to, uh, to finish off. So just pinch uh, a bit of the salad, place that into the uh, middle of the sandwich. So black olives, good source of healthy fats, and yeah, we've got mint and more greens. In regards to herbs, they look at herbs as, yeah, it's great for flavour, but they don't actually think about the nutritional benefits of herbs. Do you think that gets missed a lot? Yeah, 100%. And there's actually um, something at the moment going on in that people are being encouraged to eat 30 different plant-based foods a week, and herbs and spices do actually count. They're about a quarter of a point. And I added this up as we've been going along. There's actually 13 different plant-based foods in this. So 30 weeks, we're having over a third in exactly. one meal. So if you just think within five or ten minutes, all the ingredients we've got, all the plant-based numbers that you've talked about there, we're going to create a really colourful, healthy, healthy sandwich. Yes. Amazing. So top the sandwich then with the bread, put a couple of uh, cocktail sticks in there, cut the sandwich, and then let's have a look at the, uh, the finished result. And there we go. So we have this Eastern-inspired plant-based sandwich. As you've said, Nicola, all the colours of the rainbow, 
all the herbs, all the flavour in there, absolutely beautiful. So. I think it'd be great to, to make if you're working from home, but also if you're serving for friends and family, picnic, barbecue, because it looks amazing. So great if you've got people who are vegetarian as well. Bread's a really, really great carrier for uh, making sandwich. Quite often gets forgotten about it. It's uh, so important that you get the right bread to complement the flavours. Choosing sourdough, really beneficial. So just tell me a little bit about your daily life, the breads that you like to eat, and, and what you look for to, to, to create a healthy diet for yourself. Yeah, so I mean, this is a great example of a balanced lunch. And when it comes to breads, as well as choosing sourdough, I'd say to look for whole grains, but yeah. also look at the ingredients and is there any healthy additions? Like I think in this one, we've got some sunflower seeds and linseeds, which again is adding healthy fats, fiber, more plant-based points. And this entire meal, again, is low GI. Yeah. So it's going to keep us hopefully feeling satisfied yeah. and it looks great to eat as well. Yeah, just uh, an interesting fact for us is with Jason Saudo, you talk about the seeds that go into there. It's really important that you try and get the benefit of all the nutrients in the seeds. So what we actually do uh, at Jason's is we, we take the seeds and we actually soak them. That actually softens the seed down, which uh, allows the digestive system to actually take the seeds and actually absorb more nutrients than just adding the seeds in. So that's a really important part of Jason's sourdough that we always, always soak all of our seeds. Another fun fact about sourdough is that the fermentation process, it actually reduces the levels of phytate, also known as phytic acid, yeah. and that helps to increase the bioavailability of nutrients such as folate, and we've got iron in there as well. Yeah, amazing. So much information just on making a sandwich, it's brilliant. So I think now there's only one thing to do, because I'm standing here, I'm actually getting a bit hungry. It looks delicious, it's, and let's Should try, try it. it. Yeah, let's go. So. Fabulous. So nice, the flavours really bursting in your mouth. Absolutely, really, really beautiful.